Good evening. Uh, good evening. Buenas noches. Que pasó? What's up? What's happening? Uh, first, obviously, I want to thank um, members of the San Francisco uh, Library for organizing this wonderful event. So important. Um, I think for all of us, we live in those sort of times where uh, <clears throat> we have banned books. Can you believe that? Uh, people burning the Dixie Chicks. I remember when they were burning Pablo Neruda, in fact, on the streets of Santiago. Uh, but there's a set of books that, are, that I would really love to see made public so that anybody who wanted access to them could have access to them. They're not so much a banned books, they're secret books, um, therefore banned from our eyes. And I'm talking about the accounting books of the Pentagon. <laughs> <laughs> now that's something I would like to see opened. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to read from one of the great poets of Latin America, especially uh, during uh, the, the violent decades of Central America, the 1970s, the, the 1980s. Um, actually, most everything that Roque Dalton wrote in his lifetime was banned from El Salvador. And uh, much of his work, in fact, uh, circulated <coughs> in mimeograph formed from hand to hand. Uh, perhaps one day, especially for Latin American writers, we should have a banned mimeograph poem day. Uh, I want to read one of his most famous poems, actually. I'm going to read two of them, uh, one in Spanish and uh, one in English. I won't translate them uh, either way. <coughs> this poem, part of the characteristic of Roque Dalton was not only was he an extremely political writer, an activist, a historian, a chronicler of the times, <coughs> he was also a great satirist. In a, in a, especially towards uh, those who pretended to be ultra-radicals, ultra-revolutionaries. And tragically enough, it was those sort of people who wound up assassinating uh, Roque Dalton in May of 1974. <coughs> this is uh, his most famous poem called Poem of Love, Poema de Amor. He starts off by mentioning silver roll and gold roll, and it refers to the uh, salaries in uh, the, while building the Panama Canal. Gold roll was for the white workers. Everyone else, the, the Afro-Cubans, the Chinese, the Salvadorians were paid in silver. And it's basically a catalog all, of all the different personalities of uh, Salvadorians, uh, and he ends by calling them all his compatriots, his brothers. I'll read it in uh, Spanish because uh, San Francisco is closer to San Salvador than it is to New York. Poema de amor. Los que ampliaron el canal de Panamá y fueron clasificados como silver roll y no como gold roll. Los que repararon la flota del Pacífico en las bases de California. Los que se pudrieron en las cárceles de Guatemala, México, Honduras, Nicaragua. Por ladrones, por contrabandistas, por estafadores, por hambrientos, los siempre sospechosos de todo. Me permito remitirle al interfecto por esquinero sospechoso y con el agravante de ser salvadoreño. Las que llenaron los bares y los burdeles de todos los puertos y las capitales de la zona, el Tagruta Azul, el Calzoncito, Happy Land, los sembradores de maíz en plena selva extranjera, los reyes de la página roja, los que nunca sabe nadie de dónde son, los mejores artesanos del mundo, los que fueron cosidos a balazos al cruzar la frontera, los que murieron de padulismo o de las picadas del escorpión o la barba amarilla en el infierno de las bananeras, los que llorarán borrachos por el himno nacional bajo el ciclón pacífico o la nieve del norte, los arrimados, los mendigos, los marihuaneros, los guanacos, hijos de la gran puta, los que apenitas pudieron regresar, los que tuvieron un poco más de suerte, los eternos indocumentados, los hacelo todo, los véndelo todo, los cómelo todo, los primeros en sacar el cuchillo, los tristes más tristes del mundo, mis compatriotas. Mis hermanos. 
Thank you. <clears throat> now, I, I asked Joan to spike this one bottle with tequila for me. Thank you, Joan. <clears throat> I'm going to read this last poem of um, uh, Roque's. Uh, <clears throat> and as I was saying, he was, he was a great activist and a great humorist and could see the humor of his own sort of tragic country and his own situation. One time he tells a story, he was going to be executed, this is a true story, at six in the morning. That night, midnight, in San Salvador, was struck by an earthquake that split open the walls of this prison cell. He jumped out and escaped. <laughs> That's Rocket Dalton. <coughs> Another one was one of his uh, great poems from the last book that he published in his life, Poemas Clandestinos, in which he assumes the voice of five different personas of El Salvador, including that of a woman, uh, to give voice to the voiceless. <coughs> and this poem is called Acta, Act. And this work was translated by the Roque Dalton Cultural Brigade, and uh, one of the main members of this translation was Jack Hirschman. Act. In the name of those washing others' clothes and clean, cleaning others' filth from the whiteness, in the name of those caring for others' children and selling their labor in the form of maternal love and humiliations, in the name of those living in another's house, which isn't, isn't even a kind belly, but a tomb or a jail. In the name of those eating others' crumbs and chewing them with the feeling of a thief. In the name of those living on others' land, the houses and factories and shops, streets, cities and towns, rivers, lakes, volcanoes and mountains, always belonging to others. And that's why the cops and the guards are there, guarding them against us. In the name of those who have nothing but hunger, exploitation, disease, a thirst for justice and water, persecutions and condemnations, loneliness, abandonment, oppression, and death, I accuse private property of depriving us of everything. Thank you.